So this machine that's behind me is our mobile COC. It's fully equipped 10 by 10 uh, container and it is attached to the back of a uh, short bed MTVR. So this allows us to effectively command and control our out exterior logistics nodes. Um, and we're able to do that effectively with all the kind of assets that it contains all in one small package. So the previous method, a method that is most commonly used is to set up uh, a large amount of tent or tentage. And with that, you're, a, you're, you're looking at more manpower, more uh, cargo space to haul that tent. Usually it's um, encompassed with containers to haul it in. And then you also have the manpower time that it takes to set it up. Um, inside the tent, once it's set up, it's not COM capable. You have to do a lot of, of other work to make sure that you're able to get that up and running. It could take, it could take upwards of hours to actually get fully operational uh, with a tent. So this allows us to roll into a position, um, start up our generator, be our power source, flip on the switch, and we're able to effectively communicate to every logistics node that we need to and uh, provide tasking for them as well. So this is gonna make sure that our supported unit um, maintains uh, fire superiority in the fight. And it's also gonna allow us to effectively move our logistics to and where it needs to go at, at virtually any time at any place. It's important because we want to make ourselves a hard target. Uh, we, we want to outpace the enemy, and if that means that we can get the edge off a simple container like this, where we're able to set up, we can set up and be fully operationally capable with everything that we need in about 20 minutes. You know, and that is a huge asset to, to us and a huge asset to the units that we are going, going to support with this. Um, and if we need to move, we could tear down and go in 10 minutes. The environment that we're facing with contested logistics, doing this kind of innovation and going outside what is the norm for operations and command and control, this may push the envelope to, to, some, to some degree, but if it works and we can prove that it works, then we want to move forward in developing this uh, mobile COC to making it more available to logistics units uh, throughout the throughout 3MEF and maybe throughout the entire Marine Corps to make this more standardized.